Thank you. We now move on to the EFD and Ms. Andreessen. Thank you, Madam President. Mr. Wren, I'm here. Uh, it appears that Euro membership has become intolerable for several member countries. When the Euro was introduced, prices were uh, elevated in many countries in the Eurozone. At present, the opinion polls in Estonia show that 75% of the population are afraid that living costs will increase if they abandon the croon for the euro, as is planned for next year. Do you agree that joining the euro causes prices to increase? What would you do to avoid it? And do you recommend that countries, more countries should join the euro? And a second question, how would you help those countries that need to devalue their currency to cope with the economic and financial crisis and cannot do so because they are in the Eurozone. Thank you. Thank you. I, I try, to, try to use my time for answering to your first question concerning uh, the price rises. Uh, membership uh, in the Eurozone uh, should not uh, cause uh, rise, rise, prices to rise. Uh, and, uh, of course, uh, that is dependent on the country's uh, economic policies and uh, ability to sustain low inflation, which is, uh, in fact, uh, one of the entry criteria of uh, any country to the Eurozone. There is uh, no major evidence of uh, price increases, uh, even though there may be some uh, minor increases uh, when figures are rounded, uh, but uh, if the economic policies are, are right uh, and uh, inflation is uh, kept at bay, there should be no general price rises uh, in the context of the euro accession. You asked uh, whether I'm in favour or against uh, the enlargement of the eurozone. I'm in favour on the basis of the Treaty on European Union. When a country meets uh, the conditions of uh, joining the Eurozone, the next likely candidate uh, being Estonia, uh, it should uh, be able to enter the Eurozone. Uh, Estonia is uh, rather close, uh, but uh, we will have to ensure that uh, all the rules are respected, uh, the treaty is respected, uh, and uh, we will return to this matter in the coming spring in the Convergence Report on Estonia. Mr. Wren, uh, Slovakia has celebrated its first year in the Eurozone and has seen quite an increase in the prices to the point that its uh, tourism has decreased 25% as a result of this. Its GDP has dropped 1% more than its neighbour, uh, the Czech Republic. How do you explain this and how do you justify that this doesn't have anything to do with joining the Eurozone? There are several, several factors uh, maybe behind this, uh, these figures, uh, but uh, the essential thing uh, for Slovak Slovakia, I have many Slovak friends, and, uh, and uh, I must say that uh, a vast, vast majority of them, uh, on the basis of my personal opinion survey, are in favour of uh, Slovakia having joined uh, the Eurozone. The Euro has uh, provided uh, shelter from the storm in the current uh, financial crisis, uh, for Slovakia, as well as for many other countries, including the country I know best. Uh, I recall very well the economic recession of the early 1990s, uh, when, uh, for instance, Finland was in, the, in a position where it didn't have the euro, and uh, we, we suffered uh, huge human costs uh, because of uh, high unemployment. Uh, now we have the euro, and, uh, and it is protecting many of the larger and smaller member states uh, in these uh, current uh, storms of uh, the global economy.